Unit 1.4 deals with basic input. And again, this is input from the keyboard to uh, the screen, what we often call console input. Uh, we'll look at using a GUI interface, a graphical user interface with like a text box and buttons later on. Uh, but to get started, we'll just read this basic input. Um, so to get started, we need to do a couple things to our programs. To start using our input, we have to do an import statement. So an import statement brings in certain libraries or certain features into the Java programming language. Uh, and so the one we use here is we say import and then space and then java.util.scanner semicolon. We put this at the very beginning of our program. So here's a sample program and here's our public class salary and here's our public stack void, our main routine here. Uh, and then above these, we're going to insert this import java.util.scanner to be able to read in uh, stuff. Uh, now, inside our program, we need another thing in order to use this uh, scanner. We need to declare a scanner. So we're always going to need to have this uh, command here. Uh, we have a, a, we say scanner, which is a type, and then we give it a, some name. In this case, we're saying s c n r, short for scanner, and then we say new scanner and then system.in and this tells it to read from the keyboard so system.in is the default input which goes to the keyboard and then this is just a comment that tells it what it is so again oh, I don't know if we mentioned here but these backslash backslashes are just simple comments uh, that are ignored by the computer compiler and just describe these statements uh, here and here uh, so we have to put this import statement in our program and then we have to declare our scanner variable and then we can use that um, to assign a variable. So if we have a variable called hourly wage and we want to have the user enter that, we say hourly wage is equal to and then we use our scanner variable and then we go and grab the next, in this case we're grabbing the next integer uh, from the screen. When we learn more types like text strings and uh, floating point numbers, we'll look at different values here. But for now, we just know how to do integers, so we'll just do next int uh, and then parentheses. And again, this is a comment that just tells that we're doing, we're reading the next input from this scanner. Um, then we're going to use that in our computations here and print this out. So we're going to use hourly wage has now been set to some value from the keyboard and then we print out uh, annual salary after doing some computation here. So again these are the two uh, statements we're always going to need and our third statement. One thing to note especially when we look at examples online is some other people will call this scanner variable different things. They might call this console or in or something like that. Uh, you can name this variable here, what we are naming S, C, and R, anything you want, you just have to, if whatever you call it here, you've got to use that exact name in the rest of your program. Okay, so go through these activities. So assuming that scanner is already declared and exists, uh, which statement reads uh, a user entered number into a variable numcars and so you could say this one might do it uh, but you're wrong you have to remember things like parentheses and stuff like that so we'll work these out type in here a sa statement that will read in a uh, number of a variable uh, read in an integer and store it in number of users so look at the examples above for that um, now we're going to look at this program. This is just a participation program so we can try out different things here. Run the program and observe the outputs. Now one thing that's really hard to do with this web-based system is to allow us to do input on the fly when we're running this. And so what they've done here is let me reset this to what this was originally. This was originally three here. And then they run this and it says enter the dog's years uh, and it, it, it then enters three here and then it says a three-year-old dog is about 21 years in human age. Um, and they said, you know, it's hard, we have to pre-enter this input here because of this web environment and in a traditional development environment you wouldn't have to. So let's just take a quick break and 
I'm going to show you how this works in BlueJ. Okay, so I've started our BlueJ environment up, and I've taken this program uh, and put it into a, uh, a new class called Dog Years. If I look at that class, it's the same code that's here. It has a variable dog years, human years, print enter dog years, and it does scanner.nextint to read in dog years. And it calculates the human year, years. A lot of uh, studies say that e um, human years are seven times dog years. Uh, so it prints out A, and then prints out the variable dog years, and then year old dog is about, and it prints out human years, and then years old human. So do the printout. Um, now if I go back here to my project spot, I can right click and say run main method. Um, it should pop up my console. If it doesn't, uh, I want to make sure I show my terminal uh, that will show up here. Um, here, I'm going to clear this and try this again. Oops, uh, okay, now it's, I've already run this before. So, okay, it's cleared. Uh, I got the terminal up. Again, the first time it should pop up the terminal for you. So, I'm going to say run main method. It'll run, it'll say enter the dog years. And I can enter three. And it says a three year old dog is about 21 human years. Uh, I can clear this and I can run this again. And it'll say, enter dog years, and I can say, oh, like, my dog is 11 years old, so an 11-year-old dog is about 77 years old human. So, uh, so that's what it's saying back here where it says that uh, it's more interactive in that sort of environment. So that's example blue jay. So here I have to actually enter my input ahead of time and then run the program. And it'll say enter dog years and it'll just grab this and pretend it's inputted here. So not the greatest environment but a good uh, workaround for this web-based environment that we're working with. Okay, challenge activities. Uh, there are just two challenge activities for you to run, uh, and you're uh, supposed to write an input statement, an input statement, and an output statement that generates what you want. And in this case, write a statement that reads the user input uh, into the defined variable, and a second pr statement that prints out the integer. So there's just user number. We're just going to use read in a number from the user and print that out. Uh, in this example, it's a little more complicated. We're going to read in two numbers, uh, and then we're going to print out the first number, and then we're going to print out a slash, and then we'll print out the second number. So that's our output that we want. And so we have two variables, birth month and birth year, that you can work on. So you can try those both out uh, here, and that wraps up our input.